all right, I got my camera fixed. Now my mic's better, everything. The freaking uh, lens was off. I bought a new phone and forgot to change the settings. Duh. Whatever. But, talking about the false flag. And I went to sleep last night and I made a, a funny little video because I want to talk about grab them in the foul That's when you got them by the balls. When they're lying so bad you got the proof you got them by the foul Or a fake watch or something. That's a foul No more fugazi. Call it a foul You got a foul Don't be scared to say it like that too. You got a foul on your hands, huh? Huh? But anyway... We got a Fauci on our hands because we know they're planning a, a false flag. They're planning a Fauci. Huh? We know what they're doing. And what they're doing is they've got their trigger words, and I'm up inside their head now. I'm like Ray Lewis, man. I'm a middle linebacker. And you know what? I don't want to play offense. I like playing defense. And you know what? I don't want to intercept the ball. I want to swat it out of your hand, and when your running back comes up the middle, I'm going to take them out. So right now, we're taking them out. And they're going to come with their false flag and their trigger words of QAnon. Now, Q... I keep my ear on Q. I'm not going to lie. I don't follow it, but I listen to it. They haven't said anything. Q hasn't posted anything since like July of 2020. So these people talking about all this QAnon, Brian Stelter and all them, QAnon is not even doing anything. And, and the, the person that I'm listening to that does talk about Q, he refers to it. Right now he's referring to something in 2000, uh, 2017. And it said, POTUS is insulated, fireworks. But with these idiots, these mainstream media, and this puppet that's running this cabal, they invert everything. They they hear rockets. What do they think? Explosions, bombs, missiles. What's coming out of Biden's mouth? Nuclear bombs, F-15s, war, white supremacists. They're giving you the game plan. They give it to you because they're so stupid. They're like the evil villain in a movie. Like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, tells you the whole plan and shit. That's what they're doing. So this QAnon thing is is, is big, and this is why I kept my ear on it because I wanted to be like, they're going to use this somehow. They're going to use this somehow. And that's how they're going to use it, okay? They're going to try to do something with QAnon. Understand Q is Q, not Q and on. And Q hasn't even said nothing. That's why I've been listening to like, what is, what is this Q talking about, you know? Nothing. Nothing. It said fireworks. Fireworks doesn't mean explosion. Fireworks means a show. Get ready for the show. Like, they might be getting set up. And they did get set up on a six. They got hours and hours of footage that they're scared to withhold, to, to, to let go. They're, they're withholding, you know? So, they keep walking into these traps. And now with the running game with the with the McCowan or Rose McGowan, whatever her name is, and Brittany, is because she's a trigger for most of the people that have graduated from 99 to now. That's who's been BLM. That's who's been in the streets. That's who they've been working on, okay? And that's why they're using Britney Spears, and that's why she's a trigger. They're always going to be, oh, but I know she's a rock star. You want to really look at her? Look at the circus. There's a song she did called The Circus. Look at it, listen to it, understand. That's what she believes. You understand? She's playing y'all like a circus. She's in control. She's got her jewelry. She plays the part, okay? Because she's a puppet of this puppet master who I'm up in that head. I'm up in that head, puppet master. St. Mikey up in there. Oh, yeah, I got a little couch and everything. I got F your couch, homie. F your couch. So... That's what we're going to look forward to, okay? This is a false flag I'm looking for. Trigger word, QAnon. That is not even a word. That's a word they've made up, and they're going to try to create a group of QAnon, just like they did on January 6th, okay? they came. I've been seeing these people in, in the, the crowds, in the bars, in the restaurants for a long time. Now they've moved them to go do these little little operations, okay? I've seen them. I've messed with them. You can set these people up. They're not that bright. They have one. And they had one advantage over us in 2020. We just didn't pay attention and believe that they exist. But now we've seen them. Now we have them recorded. Now I could come to you and go, yeah, groups of people out there, federal agents, whatever they are, where do these people come from? What do these people do? They get trained to do this stuff. They had a guy from Arizona, the FBI, telling them to rush the gates on the 6th. Okay, it's all coming out. And I'm so happy that I used to mess with these people because now I want to bust these people up. I want to crack these people straight across the head. See, when they hear that, they think I want to actually physically crack them. No, I want to implode their whole story and have it all leak out and everything come out. That's the win. That's the victory. To be able to be like, I told you, they've always had people, provocateurs everywhere. Okay? And they didn't like me because I used to mess with them. And sometimes when you hear me in a video and I'm like, damn, dad, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. These provocateurs that have been in society that have been manipulating anything, try to get you to do certain things. You know, maybe they want to push a, a, a 
a gay agenda or a, I don't know, man, something. I don't want to go there. They just want to have an agenda where they want society to go because they want to take us there. That's what they've been doing. That's why they slowly got to our school and manipulated our kids with this C CRT. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe they want to push uh, racism, okay? And so that's the, that's the plan. That's the attack. I'm telling you, I'm up in their head. I joined the party. And when I joined the party, the party got a psychic. And I'm a dope-ass psychic. So this stuff is going to come true. All right? Peace. The veil is being lifted. That's where we're at right now. You can feel the energy. I can feel the energy changing. To, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Today I was up in San Diego, and I went into a 7-Eleven. I seen one dude coming. He looked at me. I looked at him, and I grabbed my mask, and I put my mask back in my pocket. We walked up in there. There was three of us. We all walked up in there, and the lady kind of had her mask. She was kind of, I could, and I just looked at her, and she was just like, man, right. And I looked at her, and I was just like, have a good day. And we left, and we we're all just like. And that's, that's, that was the moment I could feel the energy change. And then I, I just got home, and I've been watching stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, the energy's totally changing, dude. And I knew it was. It's about time. The veil's being lifted. The energy's changing, and you should be able to feel it when you go certain places. Soon, the people in the mask and being all weird, they're going to start looking weird, okay? And then you're going to find out, like, man, we, we got to live with these people? Yeah, we got to live with these people. All right, peace out.